I wanted to do a small training on how to do web forms. In other words, you want to gather leads from your own website. Someone visits your website, they type in their information, they hit submit, and that information gets automatically entered into Rainmaker. Uh, so what we do is we go under settings and we go into web forms. And you can have as many web forms as you want. You can create web forms for each uh, page. Like for instance, on my own website, uh, I specifically have a landing page for preschool age kids so I would have a web form for that one. I have a uh, landing page for kids, one for teens, one for adults, one for kickboxing. So I would have five different web forms and that way I would know exactly what uh, this lead is associated to. If they go to my kickboxing page and they fill out my kickboxing web form then they will start getting information automatically sent to them about kickboxing. Uh, so if they're, you know, a, a parent of a little kid and, and they fill out uh, the little kid one, they're not going to get kickboxing information that wouldn't pertain to them. They would get uh, information on our preschool program. So, you know, you can have one web form that's generic or you can have as many web forms as you want and place them on different landing pages okay, on your website. So let's add a new form and you're going to uh, briefly title this one. I'm going to title this one Kids Karate. Okay, and uh, you know you can add tags to this. Tags are a way to separate your different groups. And uh, so, if you wanted to target just this kids karate, you could create a tag that said kids karate. And you do tags in here just like this. So let's do that. Uh, let's add a tag, a regular tag, and we'll call this kids karate. That way, if I ever wanted to, well, there we go. Got my tag in there. So let's go back to settings and web forms. And I'm going to add a new form again, and I'm going to call this Kids Karate. And I'm going to put this on a Kids Karate landing page, and I'm going to tag it Kids Karate. So anytime I want to specifically go after those that were a web lead that came from my Kids Karate, I could do that. Now let's talk about the fields. We can uh, collect their first name, their last name, their email address, their phone, their mobile phone, address, city, state, zip, or postal code, or, or off, an off special offer. And we can also do what we call a two-step web form. Have you ever been to a website where they said, hey, uh, you know, give us your information, and you typed in your first name and your email address, and you hit submit, and then the next page it said, oh, while you're at it, you know, let's, we'll send you a free gift in the mail, so uh, add your phone number and your address and city, state, zip. That would be called a two-step web form. So you'll see here on, on, on my form, I can have step one or step two are not used. So if I just wanted one form, I could just change this all to step one. And that's all you would need to do. And now you're going to have a, a big one form created by Rainmaker uh, that will have all this info. But say, hey, listen, I don't want to offer anybody anything. And I really don't care about their uh, phone. I just want their mobile phone. So now only these fields are going to be required. Uh, matter of fact, you can see over here they're required. Only these fields are going to be on the form and it's going to be in one big step. But let's say that you wanted to get their first name and their last name and email address on step one. And then you wanted their phone and everything else on the step two. So they filled out They filled out their first name, last name, and email address on the first form, and then it redirected them to a second form that got their second uh, information here. And that would create only one contact in Rainmaker with all the info. Let's say that they only went step one. Well, at least you got their first name, last name, and email, and it didn't save anything from step two, but uh, some people will actually uh, fill the whole thing out, both forms, okay? So if you want to have offers, and if you click over here, you could offer a free emailed report or an, a mail DVD to a prospect who asked for it as an incentive. So here's where you can create the uh, offer if you want. And if you do this offer, then you're going to have to click on the offers and if that's step one or step two. okay. And we can also create some flow tags. And flow tags are, if I tag this person with this flow tag, instantly things start happening in our flows. okay. I don't have any flow tags, but it, maybe I would create a flow tag that would be called Child's DVD. And I would say, if you want this free DVD, click here, and it would assign that this prospect the flow tag that was called Kids DVD, and instantly the Kids DVD flow would start happening. This is some pretty advanced stuff, but very powerful. Okay, Age groups. What I would do on my site is I would create a separate 
form for each one of these age groups and then I would just say for my preschool one or the, actually this was kids right so for my kids one I'm just gonna have this for kids but let's say you just want to have a one big form a generic form then you can actually put in here let them choose and as a part of the form they'll be able to choose what age group that they're in okay hey maybe you don't want to require an age just put on here do not require age but going with my theme of kids karate I'm going to say that this is a kids karate form okay this little help will give you some information too by the way redirects redirects means that after they fill out this form where do you want them to go to so I'm doing a two-step form so after they fill out form number one I'm gonna have them go to let's put my website in here okay champions for life dot com for my school and I'm gonna say step two dot HTML okay so after they fill out number one they're gonna to go to kind of like a thank you page and it's gonna to go to step two and then after they fill out step two well then we're gonna to go to I'm just copy and paste this alright then we're gonna to go to maybe thank you dot HTML so they fill out form number one step number one they fill out their their first name last name and email address okay then I'm gonna redirect them to a page on my site called step two and then after they and that will take them to the page here step two and then after they're done with step two I'm gonna take them to a thank you page that says thank you for uh, you know filling out our form and whatever okay alright now an autoresponder after they fill out this form don't you want them to go somewhere uh, excuse me don't you want them to get a uh, welcome message from you well you can put this autoresponder here's the subject you have some tags in here first name last name you know so I can go cop I can copy this paste it first name you know here's the information you requested in martial arts and then I can also do in here first name oop jumped around me sorry about that comma and then I can type in uh, you know thank you for visiting okay whatever you understand it's gonna be an autoresponder as soon as they fill out this form boom this gets automatically sent where do you want this email sent from you can send this from your personal email you can also I'm sorry it says email the results I'm getting ahead of myself and I apologize who do you want to get this form this information uh, do you want your main instructor do you want the owner do you want several people your sales team so you would you would just comma and put the second email address in here put a comma and third all of these people ooh, better put a dot com in here all of these people will get the uh, the results now do you have a mobile phone number and you would like to instantly get the the lead on your mobile phone you can also do that and you can also give it to multiple people separate those by as soon as I do this create form and save it's gonna create the code okay here's the code for step one so you would create a, a page on your site and you would copy this I can right click and go copy and you could paste that into uh, number the, the first page and then here's the second form now I know this looks kind of mumble jumbo but it's the actual code you would give to your web designer but you remember here we had we requested their first name their last name and their email on on number one and then remember on the form number two we requested their phone their address their city their state well that's how this is gonna work okay um, you'll have two step forms and as long as that you set up your as long as you set up your redirects properly then you'll only receive one lead and all of the information will go in there even though you have two forms now if you have a web designer and you'd prefer to send it to your web designer and your web designer will get the code and they'll handle it for you just send them an email and we sent instructions on how to uh, access this uh, code to your web designer anyways it we make it very simple to integrate rainmaker into your website now rainmaker does not do the styling for you you will have to have a web designer take the code and actually make it look like it's your site it gives you the raw code to be able to collect the information alright thank you very much for being a rainmaker we hope that rainmaker makes your life a lot easier have an awesome day